on. So you might notice that I am in a little bit of a different background today. I have kind of a field here and a flower here. Um, I have been filming here for the last few videos that you will have seen on my channel. And the explanation is, I know I always get a lot of questions kind of like, why have you changed your background? I'm actually at my parents' house. So I've been filming against this white wall tutorials and I just thought I'd mix it up and film here. I haven't actually been staying with my parents for that long. I've just been here for the last two weekends and I've been filming at weekends. So um, I hope that kind of explains it for you guys if you've been wondering where I am. Anyway, I'm gonna do my June favorites. I know it's a little bit late, but I've got lots of things that I've been loving this month that I wanna show you. And the first thing is the only makeup thing, which is, crazy because obviously normally it's all makeup but the only makeup thing I have to show you this month is the Stila Coconut Crush Lip and Cheek Stain which looks like this and normally I'm not a big fan of lip and cheek stains but this one I've absolutely fallen in love with because it smells like coconut and I'm going to try and kind of swatch it there for you as well as you can see it's kind of like a metallic deep pink and normally lip and cheek stains are like kind of um just like a colour, they're not usually metallic, like shimmery, but this is, and it's really nice, and it smells like coconut, amazing for summer, and you can use it on your cheeks as well, so I love that. The next thing that I've been absolutely loving is my Soap and Glory Flake Away, and I featured this in my, what was it, fake, best fake tans video, and um, I said in it that it smells like cocoa, Chanel, Chanel Coco Mademoiselle, um, and someone commented, it actually smells like Miss Dior Cherie, and I got confused, because you know when something smells really similar and you kind of recognise the smell, you're like, oh my god, that smells like something I know. I thought it was Coco Mademoiselle, but it's actually Miss Dior Cherie, which is still pretty amazing considering this is five pounds. It's probably the best body exfoliator I've ever used. I absolutely love it. Love the packaging. Smells great, works great, and I'm definitely gonna be taking it away with me when I go on holiday in the next few weeks, so I love that. The next thing that kind of fits in with that, and that is also was in my fake tan video because it's kind of my favorite fake tan, is my Zen Tan Deep Bronze, Deep Bronze Lux Lotion. And I've been using this pretty much once a week just to fake tan my legs because the weather's been a little bit warmer, so. I've been wearing skirts and stuff, so I have been fake tanning my legs. Love that. If you want to know more about it, go and check out my fake tan video because I don't want to like repeat myself. So the next thing is Pantene Pro V's Color Protect Color Seal Concentrate. And this is basically like, you know when you dye your hair at home, you get the kind of at-home dye kits and you, um, you get like a little conditioner in there. It's like a super, super strong conditioner. This is pretty much the same stuff as that. And you're meant to use it, I think, once every two weeks, but I've been using it like once or twice a week and it's really really good it just leaves your hair feeling really soft and if you color your hair it's really great especially if you have any bleach in your hair because it really does kind of um help with that kind of dryness you get really really dry hair when you bleach it so talking of hair actually i've changed the color of my hair some of you guys might notice because i actually i get a lot of comments on my hair kind of whenever I change it, whether the colors change, and I've actually had more of like an ash blonde put through it instead of a golden blonde, and I actually really like it. I think it looks a bit more kind of um, natural rather than kind of yellowy blonde, but let me know what you guys think. Anyway, the lighting's a bit funny, so you probably can't see it um, like I can see it, but yeah, Pantene Pro-V have been absolutely loving that. The next thing is really, really strange, and I'm kind of embarrassed talking about it because it is a bust and a neck firmer, and there is an explanation behind this, um, it's from Mamma Mio, it's their boob tube. Basically, I got sent this, and I kind of looked at it like, really, busted neck firmer? That's kind of embarrassing, like, awkward. But I was like, I'll give it a try. So I started using it, and I actually really noticed a difference in the kind of quality of my skin. I know this is a weird thing to be talking about, but like, on your chest area, just like, a lot kind of smoother, and just really nice. Anyway, I was reading the back, and it actually says, hot tip. This is facial quality skincare. If these skincare benef if these are skincare benefits you want to see on your face, feel free to use it as a facial moisturizer too. So I started using it as a facial moisturizer just because I thought, why not? It said that. Um, and it's really, really good. I swear, like my skin has been a lot better than it has been the last few months. I have noticed my skin's getting really bad just because I've been chopping and changing products all the time, which is so bad for your skin because then never gets used to one kind of product. So I decided probably like three weeks ago now that I was like, right, I'm just gonna go back to using face wipes to get my makeup off and then um, just use water in the morning to wash my face and then also like have a little bit of an exfoliator in there as well and then just use one moisturizer, like no toner, anything. And my skin has been so much the better for doing that. Um, and that's the moisturizer that I've been using. So the boob tube bust and neck firmer on my face, have been loving it. Very, very strange, but there we go. The next thing is a bath oil and it sounds weird being into bath oils in summer because it's the end of June. Um, normally people get into kind of baths in the winter because they're very warming, whatever. Um, but I've been loving baths recently and I've absolutely been loving the Aromatherapy Associates Relax Deep Bath Oil. And I keep this in the box. I don't know whether you're meant to, but I kind of like the box. As you can see, I've used up 
a lot of you only need a tiny tiny bit you only need a cap full in each bath and you can use it in the shower as well but um i've never really used it in the shower i just really like it in the bath and it just really really relaxes you i find it just smells amazing i just absolutely love aromatherapy associates i had a little tester of their um bath oils when did i get it at christmas i think and i used them up quite quickly so this is the full size they are expensive but they last a long long time like i've had this for maybe five or six months and I've only really started using it kind of on a regular basis. And I just find it just, in the evening, it just helps relax you so much. So I absolutely love that. It smells gorgeous. And then the last kind of beauty thing is a fragrance. And I, this is my favorite of all of my favorites this month. And it's the new Vera Wang perfume, which is Love Struck. And look at the bottle. It's just amazing. I don't know if any of you guys will have seen it. I'll take my hand away. That's better. I don't know whether any of you guys will have seen this already, but the bottle is amazing. It's basically like a big square glass bottle like a normal perfume but then the lid has these flowers and it has bows and it's just amazing and I actually got invited to the launch of this perfume must have been three weeks ago it was at the beginning of the month anyway and I was kind of like I saw a picture of the bottle I was like oh my god the bottle is amazing and whenever that kind of feeling happens I'm like I'm gonna love something I always get really worried that it's actually gonna smell bad and I'm not gonna like it so I went to the launch and it was really cool because I actually got to meet Leighton Meester and Vera Wang because Leighton Meester is the face of the fragrance when I say meet them I pretty much got to say hi so I didn't really properly meet them but um it was really cool anyway and Leighton Meester was amazingly beautiful I did a blog post about it on the time and put pictures and stuff so you can go and check it out if you want I'll put a link in the information bar below for you guys as I always do to my blog um and you can go and check it out but Anyway, I thought I was going to hate the fragrance because the bottle is so amazing. I was like, it's going to be like sod's law that the fragrance is going to suck. I smelt this and I was literally like, oh my God, it's like my perfect fragrance. It smells amazing. It smells actually a lot like Vera Wang's Princess, but kind of a little bit more grown up, a little bit more interesting. The bottle is amazing and I've been using it basically all month. I've actually used up loads already, if you see there. Absolutely amazing amazing perfume and I've said amazing about 500 times in the last minute so I'm going to stop saying amazing that was the last time I promise so you can get this I believe it's limited to Harrods at the moment in the UK I'm pretty sure it's probably already out in the states anyway um yeah it's exclusive to Harrods at the moment but they're going to release it sometime soon I think to other stores as well you can order it online and I just realized I've done a whole thing on perfume and not even spoken about what it actually smells like um I'm rubbish at describing fragrances. It's kind of floral, kind of fruity. If you like Vera Wang's Princess, you'll like this. And I'll put a link in the information bar below to my review on my blog where it says what it smells like. So yeah, that might help. Anyway, so I do have one last thing. And this last thing is really, really strange because it's food, but it's kind of like even weirder food than I would normally include. Um, especially, as again, considering it's June favorites because it's not even really summery. And it is um, lentils. And not any old lentils. It's specifically this brand of pre-prepared lentils. So it's Merchant Gourmet Puy Lentils with sun-dried tomatoes and basil. And this comes in one of these pouches and you just put it in the microwave on its side for one minute. Comes out hot, so tasty. Honestly, like one of the tastiest things ever. And lentils are really healthy as well. It doesn't have any kind of nasties in it either, I believe. It doesn't have like um, preservatives or anything chemically in it. Um, so it's just a really quick, really easy snack or meal if you are in a hurry or if you're by yourself. And you can get them from, I got this in Waitrose, I don't know which other supermarkets you can get them from, but if you keep your eyes open, seriously, amazing, love those. And that's so random and I know most people probably don't even like lentils, let alone sun-dried tomatoes or whatever. So I just thought I'd tell you all about that because I've been loving them and eating them for lunch probably a few times a week. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you all have an amazing July. July is definitely my favourite month because my birthday is in July, so... I am very excited that it's July. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon. Bye.